Hey everyone, Brian here from Flow. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up some AI tools to help you build on Flow a little bit more easily. First, we'll set up Cursor, and then we'll make a custom GPT that's ingested almost all of the knowledge that we have about Flow. Check below if you'd prefer a written version of these tutorials. Starting with Cursor, click the gear to get into settings, then click on features and scroll down to docs. If you haven't used it yet, this is where you can give it specific documentation sources as a reference, and then you'll be able to tell it to look at those references for a little more pointed questions and a little more specific help. So we'll click the blue button to add a new doc and paste in the first link for developers.flow.com. And then we're going to add tools because for some reason it indexes better this way. We're working on figuring out why. We'll name this one Flow and hit Confirm. And you can click here to see all of the pages that it is indexed for you. Next, we'll add the Cadence language site. And for this one, we'll add docs at the end so it only searches the docs and doesn't waste time crawling through the rest of the hierarchy. We'll name this one Cadence. And then the last thing that we're going to add is something new and really neat called Flow Data Sources. My colleague Ali has put together a great script that basically crawls across the internet every day looking for the most up-to-date and most relevant references to building on Flow with Cadence or EVM and adds them together into a single document that's specifically designed to be ingested by AI tools. So we'll click Add New Doc again. And don't worry about squinting. The link is below. And we'll name this one Flow Data Sources. So if you haven't used one of these sources before, it's pretty simple. You just go to the same chat window as before, and you can do at flow or any of the other sources, such as the flow data sources, and ask it the question that you want answered. Next, I'm going to show you how to configure a custom GPT that's ingested the flow data sources and should be much more specific and helpful when answering questions about building on flow, whether you're using Cadence or EVM. Note that you do need a chat GPT plus subscription to use this feature. Start by clicking the icon for your user, pick My GPTs, and then click Create a GPT. It'll ask you ChatGPT style what you want to build, and we'll give it a prompt, which you can find and copy paste from the written tutorial, that you'd like to make a GPT called Flow GPT that uses the data sources as its main reference. Hit Enter, let it think for a minute, and configure itself. It'll also make you a profile picture, which you can keep or discard. I'd prefer a little more green in this one, but we'll leave it for now. And then we found it's helpful to give it a little bit more of a personality with another prompt. In this case, we'll ask it to behave like a smart, helpful, and fast junior dev who's memorized all of this content. Thanks for listening. If you try this out, please let us know. Uh, Crypto is new, AI tools are new, and they're constantly evolving. So if something's not working the way you expect, please let us know.